Hey folks, James here from Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery. We are making this feathered jungle table runner for the June solo. And this video tutorial is going to show you how to do just that. The design includes three panels which can be made in the 5x7, 6x10 or the 7x12 size hoops. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the stitch out of panel 1 and the construction of your table runner. We recommend you follow our photograph written instructions in conjunction with this video. This is a brilliant design and we hope you go for it. Make sure to join the June Sew Along Facebook group to receive a 30% discount on this design. And remember to enter the competition by posting photos of your completed projects. We can't wait to see all your remarkable table runners. If you enjoyed this video tutorial on the Feathered Jungle Table Runner, please like and subscribe. Begin by hooping up cutaway stabilizer in the hoop. Load the design onto your machine and use applique scissors for trimming the batting and fabric. Place batting one on top of the hoop. Stitch the batting down. Remove the hoop from your machine and trim the batting about one to two millimeters from the stitching. Stitch the placer lines for the background. Place fabric A on top of the hoop right side up, covering the placement lines and stitch down. Remove the hoop from your machine and trim the fabric about 1 to 2 millimeters from the stitching. Leave the excess fabric in the seams. Embroider the leaf red work on the background. Repeat the exact same applique and trimming process for fabric B, C and D. Leave the fabric in the seams. Embroider the satin stitch for step 13, 14 and 15. Refer to the instructions. Repeat the applique process with the small vines in the back using fabric E. Trim, leaving the excess fabric in the seams. Embroider the sand stitch around the vines.
and brought the small bird using the following diagram. The number corresponds to the step number and the instructions and the file. and brought the two feathers of the large bird. Repeat the exact same applique trimming and embroidery process for steps 36 to 39. And brought the two sets of the feathers of the wings in the back. Then it brought the detail on the wing. And brought the secondary feathers of the wing in the back. Repeat the exact same applique trimming and embroidery process for the bird. Step 46 to 53. And brought the foot in the back. And brought the sand stitch around the body. And brought the wing in the front. Brought the foot in the front and brought the beak, eye, and detail along the eye. Repeat the exact same applique trimming and embroidery process for steps 64 to 69. And brought the three sets of petals. Repeat the applique process at the base of the flower using a piece of fabric large enough to cover the placement line. Trim. Then embroider the satin stitch around the base of the flower.
Well done. You have now completed the stitch out of panel one. Remove from the hoop and trim the seams to about half an inch. Hold the side until all your panels are made. Great work everyone. Let's join our beautiful blocks together. Lay your table runner in order with the long side of the panels together. Place the first two panels right sides together. Pin along one edge lining up the border stitching and satin stitch points with pins the best you can. Take your time with this process. So a half inch seam sewn just inside the border lines already on the panels. Start off by tack stitching the satin stitch points together so they line up. Then continue sewing down the seam. Open the seams and iron them flat. Continue joining the other panels in the same fashion. Great work, let's now cut the backing. Place fabric hage backing on your table, right side facing up. Place your sewn runner on top of fabric hage, right sides together. Pin in place, leaving an opening of about 7 inches, 19 centimeters for turning. Stitch a half inch seam, remembering to leave the opening. Trim the seams to a quarter inch, leaving half an inch at the opening.
and then trim the corners with your scissors. Turn the right way out through the opening. Use that pink thing or chopstick to help push out the corners. Press, hand stitch or use fabric glue the opening closed. Stitch in the ditch of the seams to attach the backing. Make sure your bobbin matches your backing fabric. Our runner is now complete. Thanks for watching our video tutorial on the Feathered Jungle Table Runner. I hope you enjoy making this project. Remember to share photos of your beautiful runners on the Facebook group where we give away lots of amazing prizes. 
For more beautiful machine embroidery designs, go to sweepea.com. That is S-W-P-E-A.com. That's all for me. I'll see you again next month. Please like and subscribe.